After the installation of the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane, a cold roof vent is mounted and waterproofed with an on-site manufactured sleeve. Here we are using the Custa roof vent with cap NW100. The first step is to cut a hole into the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane at the designated spot with a diameter equal to that of the pipe. The roof vent is placed centrally onto the opening and mechanically fixated to the substructure with suitable fasteners, not less than four times through the factory-made holes in the mounting flange. In the next step, two sleeves are manufactured, one for the flange and one for the pipe, made from the unreinforced, homogeneous waterproofing membrane Custa TPO 2.0U. A square piece is cut with the dimensions of 50 by 50 centimeters. A circle is drawn and cut out in the center for the pipe penetration with a diameter of the pipe outer diameter minus 4 cm. Now all four corners of the sleeve are rounded. The cutout opening of the manufactured sleeve is warmed up whereby the edge can be deformed easier and the sleeve can be easily pulled over the pipe. The sleeve is pulled down onto the flange of the roof vent. In its end position, the sleeve should have full contact to the flange. Next, the sleeve is spot welded with a hand welder to the flange around the pipe of the roof vent. Immediately after, the spot welded sleeve is welded to the Custa TPO waterproofing membrane by heating with the hand welder and firmly pressing with the silicone roller. In order to provide a close fitting contact of the sleeve in the transition area, it is additionally warmed up with the hand welder and pressed on with the kale fix around the pipe. Thereby, a close fitting and approximately 2 cm wide collar is formed. In the next step, the sleeve for the pipe is manufactured. A strip of Custa TPO 2.0U, not less than 15 cm wide, is placed around the pipe and the corresponding circumference is marked off. The required overlapping of 6 cm for the welding seam is added. All corners of the sleeve can be rounded, but at least the corner which will overlap at the bottom of the pipe must be. The prepared sleeve is placed around the pipe and welded to the collar using the hand welder. Immediately after, the overlap is welded vertically by heating and firmly pressing with the silicone roller. For a waterproof finishing of the pipe sleeve, we additionally secure it with a clamping ring at the upper edge and afterwards with a suitable sealant such as Custer PU Flex 25. Finally, the cap is placed on the top of the pipe so that it latches firmly.